guys, it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Today, we're gonna hit the best yoga blocks abs workout that you've ever done. So you just need a set of yoga blocks. We're gonna start using just one and then we'll play with using both of them and then we will stretch it out at the end. We're really gonna target the core from all directions. So there'll be tons of variations so you don't get bored and we get stronger. So let's get into it. Oh, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Just click it right there below, it's absolutely free. So starting with just one yoga block, you're gonna lay down on your back. Put the other one out of the way, but not too far. I want you to be able to quickly grab it. I like to keep my workouts moving so that we also get a little bit of like an aerobic effect. Uh, so there's not very many breaks in this one. So with that one yoga block, you're gonna place it on the flattest setting and horizontal, so across the mat, underneath your hips. So just make sure once you put it there that it's not too high up. I don't want your butt hanging off of it. So your butt is completely supported and then the hips are going to be tucked under. When I tuck my hips, it's gonna press my mid back. So if you're wearing a bra or a sports bra, right where the bottom of that is, that's gonna push into the ground. So that's the form. You want to create this kind of scooped out stomach position and I want you to keep it the whole time that we have the block here. So let's bring those legs up to a tabletop and we're gonna begin, here we go. So that right foot is going to dip down, you're gonna hold it at the bottom as low as you can take it, then the left leg comes down and then we pull up through center. Okay, so same side, right, hold the hover, left, hold the hover, and then lift. Now when the legs are low, that's when you wanna make sure this part of your back that we positioned right at the setup doesn't lift. So make sure that area stays down. Okay, so we're going right, left, and then both, single, single, double. Just warming it up. If you want more of a challenge, you go lower and you hold for longer at the bottom. Work into that shake. Right, left, and both. Good work, guys. Okay, I want you to inhale as you lower the legs, and exhale as you draw the abs in more to pull the legs back up. Right, left, and both. Nicely done. Single, single, double. So the rib cage area, the front of your ribs are coming together and your back ribs are pushing down into the floor. So I want you to feel like your chest is really heavy. Inhale as we go down. Hold the stomach in tight. Exhale to lift up. So that little isometric action of you sucking your abs in is going to help us get that really like flat look to the core. We don't want the abs to be puffing out as we do this. That's why form is really key with how you shape your abs. If your abs are being pushed out, they're going to develop out. So that's when you see like, you know, it's a little bit more of a masculine look, like chunkier look to the abs. Um, so there's a difference, you know, of how you train your core and how it's going to appear. Okay, we're gonna go for one more of these. This was the warm-up move. Single, single, and double. Okay, you're gonna find a frog. So heels together, toes apart, knees are over the hips. We're going single, single, double again, starting with the left leg. So you're gonna extend your left leg out to 45 degrees, then the right leg, and then pull back to frog. Same thing, left, right, both. Single, single, and double. Okay. Left, right, both. So single frogs and then double frog, bring it back home. So I have my feet slightly flexed. I'm turned out in my legs so my knees face the side walls. The angle that you extend the legs depends on how well you can maintain the form, that scooped out stomach shape. If you're having a hard time with it, you can go to the ceiling. Okay, that's the modification. If you need more, then I want you to take it lower. As long as those back ribs haven't lifted at that low diagonal, then that's where you wanna take it. I want you to challenge yourself. 
So make sure it's hard enough. And then why not start to think about those inner thighs? So when we're all the way out and both legs connect, hug them together. So apply some pressure and then pull back in. Good. Because we're not using any weight, I'm definitely going high reps today so that we can really find the burn. <laughs> Okay, another way to make it a little bit more spicy is when you're all the way out, holding it for a little longer. Just chill here, kidding, not chilling, right? Really work those abs down to the mat. Okay, let's go for two more. Nice job, last one. Left, right and both. Okay, we're going straight legs to the ceiling. You could always bend the knees if that's too much for you. We're doing a semi-circle with each leg and meeting at the bottom. So here we go, starting with the right. The right leg circles right, down, hold it at 45. The left leg circles left, down, meet the legs together. We lift through center. Continue to lead with the right leg. So right leg semi-circle, 45. Left leg semicircle, 45, pull up through the middle. So this is a more challenging one for sure with the legs straight. So just when those legs are at 45 degrees, find your form, cinch that waistline for me. Right, left, squeeze the inner thighs and lift. Right, left. Hug the legs together and lift. Okay, we're gonna do four more leading with the right. If you need that challenge, I want you to take it a little lower. Good, breathing in and breathing out. So make sure we're not holding that breath here. Okay, last two. Leg circles actually feel so good on the hips. Just side note, <laughs> last one. Stream of consciousness, <laughs> lift up. Okay, we're going left. So left leg circles, hold it 45. Right leg circles, hold it 45, check on the mid back, pull it down, and then we lift. Circling left hold, circling right hold, hug the legs together and pull up. Left, right, and lift. Nicely done. Oops, hit the window. <laughs> okay, three more. Semicircle left, semicircle right, pull up through the abs. Last two. Maybe we really take it low. Okay, one more. Semicircle left, semicircle right. Hold and lift. Okay, bend the knees and grab the other yoga block. That yoga block's going thin ways between your knees. The legs are in tabletop. We are still gonna be C-shaped in that spine, okay? So we're gonna play with a little bit of something called internal rotation in your legs while we do the ab exercises. So this is good for our hip mobility and strength at the same time. So scoop the pelvis. Starting parallel, so feet line up with the knees. Now we're gonna internally rotate. Knees roll into the blocks, feet kick out. So knees narrow, feet wide. Hug the block, toe dip down, as far as you can go without changing the shape of your back. Come back up through center, parallel the legs. So it's four parts, parallel, turn the knees in, dip the toes down, lift the legs up, back to parallel. So as my knees roll into the block, the feet go wide. We're holding that position in the legs as we lower them, lift them, and then go back into a neutral position in the leg parallel. Now I want you to really squeeze the block when you move into that internal rotation. 
So you just have to be honest with yourself. When we're hugging in, it's not really a huge action. Like you can't really see me how hard I'm squeezing that block. I obviously cannot see you. So you just have to be honest with yourself. How hard are you working? Really go for it. Squeeze the block. You'll get more out of it and you're already here doing it. So we might as well do it to the best of our abilities. Good, so I'm keeping my toes pointed. I know sometimes that cramps people's feet. So, you know, if you relax your foot, it's not going to be a big deal. So if you just need to keep your feet relaxed, if they're cramping up, that is totally fine. Good work, guys. Okay, let's hit a couple more. Knees turn in, feet go wide, we dip down, hug the block, and back to parallel. Let's do our last two here. Last one. And back to parallel. So we're gonna do a little combo just like that, going out to 45 degrees. So we're parallel. Knees turn into the block. Now we're gonna extend the leg. So the tops of the feet are trying to face each other, not the ceiling. Bend the knees in, keep the feet wide, and then bring the feet back in line with the hips. So feet go wide, extend out to 45 degrees. Knees are rolling into the block. Pull the knees back to tabletop, feet are wide, and then they go parallel. Good work. So we go out with the feet, out with the legs, in with the legs, in with the feet. Feet go out. Legs extend, knees are rolling into the block and we're squeezing it. Then bend the knees in and parallel the legs. I'm really starting to feel my inner thighs. I hope you are too. <laughs> okay, now is the time that you know the little combo where we can go deeper. So I'm feeling like I could definitely pause on the length a little longer, hug the block and pull the belly in. Yeah, hang in the work. Then bend the knees and bring it back to parallel. So I'm sure if you've worked out with me before, I really focus on going slow, especially when you're in the working zone. So that would be when the legs are out here, holding it, trying to stay in the shake and keep the connection to my abs. Woo, inner thighs are lighting up. Okay, let's go for three more, for three. Last two. Okay, one more. Knees go in, we go out, squeeze in, back to parallel. Okay, so we're gonna go for straight legs, sticking with this like internal rotation idea. So kneecaps facing you is parallel, then the kneecaps turn into the blocks. That's our internal rotation. Holding your rib cage onto the mat, we lower the legs, we lift the legs, and then we're gonna go back to parallel in the knees. Roll the knees in. Squeeze that block, we lower the legs. We lift the legs, back to parallel. Feel free to bend the knees if this is too much on your hip flexors or your low back. rolling the thighs towards each other, squeeze that block. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Back to parallel. Okay, I'm starting to challenge how low I can bring those legs. So, maybe we'll hold them for a second too. Good, roll it in, hug the block. We lower, we lift, roll back to parallel. Let's go three more. Knees roll in, we lower, we lift, knees to parallel, last two. Okay, final one. Knees roll in, we lower, we lift, 
knees to parallel and relax the legs. Good work. Okay, guys, we're changing positions. Oh, maybe a little butterfly stretch for a second. Wow. So we're changing positions. Come on up to a seat. We're gonna have one block between the knees. That's for our inner thighs and to help us keep our lower body still. And then the other block's going to go kind of at your top of your low back. So right at the beginning of that mid back, bring your feet in and stand on your feet. Now we're again in the C curve shape. Okay, so I want you to not lay back on the block. I want you to be in an active ab hold. So tuck your pelvis and lift your chest. My core is shaky, so hopefully yours is too. Squeeze the block, bring your arms into a goal post position. Elbows are at 90 degrees. So pull the ribs in and sit up. Now keep everything in your torso still. We're gonna move the arms. So your left arm's gonna open out to the left. You should feel some quivering in the core there. Bring the left arm center, right arm right, and center, and then double. Single, single, double. It's back, baby. So we go left, center, right, center, both. When we do this single arm, that's going to be challenging your obliques. Try not to lean your torso in the direction that the arm opens. So when I open my left arm, don't fall left, keep yourself centered. So single, single, double. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Good work, we go left, center, right, center, and both. Let's take this three more times, single, Single, double. How actively are you squeezing that inner thigh yoga block? Have we forgotten about it? I hope not. <laughs> okay, one more. We go single, single, and double. Okay, arms to 90. We're gonna lead with the right arm. Shoulder press, and then left arm shoulder press and then both arms, okay? Single, single, double. So elbows are narrow, stay in line with the shoulders, wrists are in. When you go for the double, the more you send the arms back over the head, the more challenging it's gonna be on your core. So if you need an advancement, bring the arms back by the ears. Remember when we lift the arm up, I don't want your shoulder to come up with you. So drop those shoulders down. Okay, let's go three more. Lift up off of that yoga block. Use your core here. Woo, we're getting the shakes. Last two, single, single, double. Okay, one more. Right, left and both. Okay, we're gonna take this to narrow rows. So arms are forward. We're gonna just go with the left. The left elbow is gonna bend. We're gonna twist left, come through center. Same side. Twist left, through center. We're in that active ab hold. I have not released the squeeze on the yoga block. My left elbow is narrow. My palm is in. Twist through your ribs and keep your feet, your knees, and your hips still. Last two. Okay, we're going to add on. Last one. Now you're going to start with the row left, then reach all the way to the back left corner. Bend the elbow, reach forward. Row left, twist the ribs, reach back, bend the elbow, come forward. So we've just added on to the last move. Lift that chest, squeeze that yoga block. You got it. Exhale, we twist. Inhale through center. Good work, give me two more. We take it to the other side after that. Last one. 
coming through center. Hug the block, curl up through your spine, just the rows to the right. So narrow row right, twist right, center. See how when I turn my chest to the right, I haven't gotten light in my left hip or in my left foot. Good, we have five right here. Lift that chest, pull those ribs in. Three more for three. And two. We're gonna add on, last one. Let's add it on. So we row and then reach back to the back right corner. Bend the elbow, come forward. Pull that tummy in. You've got it. Breathing out, rotate, breathing in. Okay, we've got five more here and then we're switching up our position. So if it's getting hard, hang on for me. We're almost out of it for four. And three, lift up and off the yoga block for two. Woo, shaky, shaky, last one. Four, one, come through center and peel it up. Whew, that was challenging. Okay guys, we're into our planks. We just got a couple more things to do and then you're gonna be out of here and on your way to a tight toned stomach. So we're gonna put one yoga block, oh, it's sweaty, <laughs> to the back of the mat. It's horizontal and flat. The other yoga block is in the same position to the front of the mat. My feet are gonna be on the back yoga block. Make a little L shape with your hands and frame the front yoga block. So thumb to the front, pointer finger to the side, we're coming onto the forearms, and you're gonna step up onto the yoga block behind you, finding your high plank. Okay, so make sure your hips aren't lifted Pull your chest through your arms and bring weight to your pointer finger and thumb. Think of squeezing your elbows energetically towards each other. Okay, we're gonna go for little toe taps here. So you're gonna tap your right foot right, back onto the block, left foot left, back onto the block. Now, the block underneath the feet adds a little bit of elevation. So that just makes the plank a little bit more challenging than if your feet were on the floor. Wow, my core is shaking like crazy right now. We really got something fired up. That's awesome. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, alternating toe taps, side to side. Okay, gaze forward. Keep your chest, your ribs, and your belly lifted. Let's do 10 more. 10. Breathe in and out. You're strong, yes, you can do this. Just because it's hard, doesn't mean you can't do it. It's, sometimes it's just mental. A lot of times it's just mental. Okay, that's half of what I asked for. Here we go, final five. We've got five. We've got four. We've got three. You can do this. Let's finish them up together. Last two. One more, left, right, and bring it down. Wow, that's what got me very sweaty. Okay guys, we're coming into some side planks. So leave the left yoga block where it is. Your feet are gonna go on this block. This block's gonna be for your inner thighs. So put your blo other block thin ways between your inner thighs. Coming onto your right forearm, we're gonna stack the feet on the yoga block. Ooh, that got my heart rate up. <laughs> and then we're gonna lift. Making sure your right elbow is underneath your shoulder and you're not sitting in your shoulder. Very important. Push the floor away. If you don't have that strength, come down onto your knees. Now my top leg's gonna float because of the inner thigh yoga block. Give it a big squeeze, okay? Now you can have your top hand to your hip, roll that shoulder open and give me little hip lifts. Squeezing up through the side. Good. Squeeze the block in between those legs. Last couple moments to get those inner thighs to really fire up. Good, let's go 20 pulses. We switch sides and then we stretch. Lift and lift. Okay, let's finish it right here. Squeeze up 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, switch it up. So we have a flat yoga block to the right side of the mat. We're gonna put the other yoga block between those inner thighs, and we're coming on to our left forearm this time. So left elbows underneath the shoulder, feet are stacked on the yoga block. We're gonna lift up. Check the form in that left shoulder. Push out of the floor. Flex your feet, squeeze the block, top hand to the hip, and start with those little lifts. Breathing out, squeezing that side body. Good work, we did 30 on the last side, so we're 20 to go, and we're stretching, okay? So quality reps right here. Lift and lift, you're almost there. Give me a smile, we're taking it to the finish line. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, you guys, bring it down. That was some serious core work from all the directions. I hope you enjoyed it. So we're gonna do some stretching now with the yoga blocks. Everything we just did was contracting to the abs, so now we're gonna do stuff that's lengthening to the abs. So I want you to take the yoga blocks and you're gonna set them up where you have got one flat vertical block, which we haven't used it like that yet today. And then the other block is going to slightly stack on top of it. It's also flat and vertical, but it's at an angle. So come to rest, I'd say a little bit below your chest. So kind of like your rib cage area is on the block. Now, if this doesn't feel right in your low back, do this without the yoga blocks because this is adding elevation. So it's giving us a bigger stretch here. Okay, so you can plant your hands maybe a little bit to the front of the shoulders. Drop the shoulders down and lift up. So we're in a supported cobra stretch here. Tuck the tailbone under. Okay, if you would like to add on, your left hand is going to reach back for the left foot. And we're going to kick the left foot back, opening up through the front of the left shoulder. Taking a couple breaths here. Wow, that feels nice. Good, and then release. Plant the left hand a bit to the front of the mat, bend the right foot in, grab the right foot, and let's push the right foot into the hand and drop the shoulders down. Good, and release. Okay, we're gonna go for one more stretch here using those blocks. This one's very relaxing. So basically, the higher you bring the blocks for this, the more intense the stretch is. So I'll give you a little demo of where to start. So come to lay on your back. The least intense is going to be a flat horizontal yoga block underneath that low back. And then you'll straighten the legs. This is gonna open up the hip flexors and inner thighs, which we crushed today. Next place you can take it, if that's not enough, is medium. And then from there, you can flip it back to flat, put the other yoga block on top, so we've got two flat yoga blocks stacked, and we're gonna rest the sacrum on the blocks, straighten the legs. So this is a much bigger back bend in my spine. For me, this is the perfect setting. If that doesn't feel right, do one of the other ones that feels good in your body. So let's just settle down, take a couple deep breaths here. And slowing down the breath, relaxing our mind, and just really focusing our energy on how our body feels after putting in a lot of work. Okay, so Pilates isn't just a physical practice, it's most certainly a mental game as well. Let's find three really big deep breaths here. Focus on expanding the core here. Inflate the belly on your inhale, and then just relax and soften everything as you breathe out. Two more big breaths here. Breathe in and out. Last full breath. Awesome. Okay, step those feet in. We're gonna slide the yoga blocks out of the way. We are done with them. And just bring your knees into your chest. 
Good, relax your back into the floor. Good, and then let's rock it up. Awesome work, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this lovely yoga block abs workout. If you're curious where we are today, we are in a place called Coconut Grove uh, in Miami, Florida. And I mean, this view is just so cool. I was like, I gotta film a workout video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to hit subscribe. It's completely free. It just helps support my channel, which I would really appreciate. Like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know how you how this went for you. And if you have any workout ideas, let me know so I can shoot them for you and you'll see them up on the channel. This is Pilates On Demand. My name's Lindsay Bushman. Bye guys.